Five Little Guys brand a giveaway. We're going to announce the giveaway winner later. I'm going to ask you guys to ask us some questions. So let's dive into this Q&A. First question we got was, I know you guys choose a workout that's style that gives you the benefits of being an athlete as well as a bodybuilder slash powerlifters, but if you had to choose between the two, so choose between being athletic or being strong, which would you choose? It's a really tough one because we like that trifecta of fitness. We like to kind of hit all facets, strong, fast, athletic, and just like agile and all that good stuff. Like you figure you can't just look it, you gotta be able to do it. So for me, oh that's tough. Would I rather be a show pony or would I kind of want to be someone that doesn't look like they lift? I really don't know. I couldn't tell you. The truth is I just like doing everything. I know it's a crappy answer, but I'm going with that because I couldn't tell you what I'd rather do, to be honest. It's a tough one, so I'm going to ask you, comment down below if you would rather be athletic, or if you'd rather look huge and be strong, look strong, but not be able to lift a five pound weight. Let me know, and that's a really tough one. We'll pick one comment down below and send them out a shirt. Question from United Kingdom, how long have you been working out? I'm going to say seriously for about five to six years, probably about seven to eight years I've been working out in total. And Josh is very similar. Another question we have is, is Kyle gay? <laughs> <laughs> Answer is no, I'm not. The person who, who asked that You're is supposed to like, answer truthfully, bro. No, 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 legit, straight up. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, one of the questions we got was, who would you uh, really like to collab with? I've really enjoyed the people we collab with thus far, but ultimately we'd love to collab with our homies from the HP Labs team. If you know any of those people, if you don't already, check them out, check out HP Labs. But we're really hoping to go down to Olympia, down in Vegas this year, and hopefully we'll be able to chill with them all, and that would just be a surreal experience, and that'll be the best collab ever of sorts. Also guys, if you haven't already, be sure to smash that like button, it helps us out a lot. And that's one of the requirements for this shirt giveaway now, we're doing giveaway and a giveaway. So that's how good we are at Team Colossus, let's go. Next question, what are your ultimate fitness goals? My personal fitness goal is keep doing what I'm doing, get stronger, become more knowledgeable every day, and build more mature muscle. I feel like I've kind of found a good frame that I really like in that 210-ish range. And I'm really thankful for that over time, I'd like to probably do a lean bulk, try to stop doing major bulking and cutting phases. And same control and slowly increase and just try to mature my muscle, mature my experience and really have full good looking muscle bellies and learn how to really utilize my muscle connection to develop a great looking physique. Are there any muscle groups in your body that you think you no longer need to train because they are getting larger than you would prefer? Um, I'd say no, I have a lot, like I have a long way to go to reach my natural potential and I think it could always be better so I'm always trying to improve in every way I can, so that's where I'm at for that. What is the reason you started YouTube? I made a YouTube channel uh, originally because I felt a lot of people in my gym were asking a lot of questions, a lot of people in my school, and I was starting to develop like a reputation for being knowledgeable in fitness. So I figured, hey, you know what? I may as well take that outside of the gym, teach more people, help spread the word about fitness, grow, and then kind of document my own progress, and that's how uh, Colossus kind of started. How should you go about growing your calves? For me, I found that really focusing on the eccentric portion, so letting it drop all the way down, something I just started doing the last three weeks, all the way down, letting the weight kind of go and completely reset the muscle, so don't do it with any momentum. But to go all the way down, let it fully kind of extend into sorts and stand it up nice and tall and fully contract it and squeeze it harder than any other muscle you can. It's like a bicep or a ball. You can squeeze it super hard, and I think I'm going to development from that going forward. It's made them really super sore. They look like they're getting a bit bigger, but time will tell. But my opinion, just really kind of actually focusing on working them and not cheating and not just doing a couple of crappy sets, but actually really grinding and making sure I'm squeezing it harder than any other muscle, it's going to bring them up in time. Are there any supplements you take while cutting? Um, there are indeed. We actually just made a full video. We'll put a card up here, but yeah, like BCAAs, Oxy Shred, protein, um, I guess L-carnitine as well. So click that video so you guys can hear like the full in-depth research and talking behind the supplements we take while cutting. Will you guys ever come to the Netherlands? Uh, yeah, when are you gonna fly us out? <laughs> Next, what are your favorite go-to meals for a cut for a quick prep? So if you guys don't know already, we do flexible dieting if it fits your macros. So it gives us a lot more freedom than having to meal prep every day. Every day is a new experience, new foods, running the same bland stuff, and that's something we passionately believe in. But usually we'll have a big staple food. So we've been kind of going about our day by having a really healthy, nice, nourishing, high protein breakfast. 
starting with that, usually a little bit lighter on the calories, and having a huge lunch. So something like two shawarma, about 1,300 calories, really kind of pushing it in there. And then we just end the day with some vegetables, some protein at night. And that's pretty much how it's been going. It makes it really simple. And then the lower you get, the more you cut things out. Since out of the shawarma, we cut out sauces, we're cutting out more. Eventually we'll cut out more or we'll cut out things earlier in the day, later in the day. That gives you a lot of play and that's a really cool way to think about it. If you guys haven't already started at Fitzy Macros, I really recommend it. Download My Fitness Pal, it's our favorite tracking app. That's another question someone asked somewhere in here. What do you app do you guys use to track macros? Because I know a ton of people ask this, but I swear people that do it just swear it's common sense that everyone uses My Fitness Pal. But if you guys aren't on that, get on it. That's how solid of an app it is. They're not paying us to say it obviously, it's just what we've been using since the start. <laughs> What is your favorite food slash meal that is still nutrient dense? If you guys aren't following us on Snapchat or Instagram, I highly recommend doing that. And call us fit on the screen because we always post where we are. Um, chicken shawarmas, you know how like a lot of bodybuilders love like Chipotle for their staple? Ours is chicken shawarma, it's like a Middle Eastern food. Lots of chicken, lots of veggies, still nutrient dense. dense. And I uh, highly recommend you guys trying out amazing shawarma if you're from Scarborough, Toronto. It tastes amazing. What are you doing, dude? This is a gym, not a playground. I'm just, I'm just having a nap, man. Just doing the Q&A, you know? Um, how to recover after cheat meal or a cheat day. Love your videos. Thank you so much. From the Philippines. Uh, we don't actually do cheat days. Since we do a uh, flexible dieting or fits your macros, we try to make all the foods we like fit into our days. The days we go a little bit crazy on someone's birthday or something, everyone has those bad days. You should recover by just keeping on with the path we did. I feel like if you overcompensate the next day or you do something really wacky, you get really complicated. If you have a coach, they can help. Like sometimes if a client really wants to eat 400 more calories on a day, we'll take it out of the week, we'll play with it, we'll play with nutrients, play with macro, like what we can do, we'll play with activity. But if it's not being monitored, it's very easy for it to get really wishy-washy and you're just gonna end up screwing yourself over. From Slovenia, they just asked, what's your favorite monster flavor? So I've only tried this twice. One of Josh's awesome clients, Mike, he actually sent us out four monsters. So the purple one tastes amazing. We don't have it in Canada, so they need to step their game up. So that's my favorite one. How about you, dude? What's your favorite monster flavor? Well, that's a tough one, but I think actually I'm gonna have to go with the HP Labs pre-workout. It's the best. It just kills monster, in my opinion. You can actually save 10% using code Colossus 10. Check that out. It must be good then, eh? It's, it's so good, I'm telling you. It competes Come with on. Monster? Dang. Question number something, who knows at this point. What is your favorite rear delt exercise? I'm gonna go with the cross arm rear delt. If you guys aren't doing this, I really recommend it. Especially at the end of back. So even if you're doing it wrong, you'll get the benefits. So that's a really fun way of doing it. We actually have a tutorial on that. We can put that down in the description down below. Check that out, it'll help out a ton. What is some of your personal favorite workout music? Instead of going through every song, just search on Spotify. I think it's called Cobra Noise. Josh just made that up. It's our like rap playlist that we listen to while working out. There's a bit of swearing, so if you don't want to hear that, then don't search it. But yeah, check it out. There's a lot of cool rap songs on there. Have I ever thought of taking steroids? Actually, coincidentally, we answered this in a video recently and we actually made a big video on it. I'm just going to plug that. It'll be in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and staying here to the very end. Now it's time to draw the giveaway winner. Give me one second. Okay, you guys will see it on the screen. Rachel Tortorici, I hope I said that correctly. Uh, comment on this video, actually no, shoot us an email, Colossus Fitness Business, we'll make sure to send everything out for you guys. As always, please smash that like button. If you guys have any more questions, comment down below. We'd love to do this again. If we get 500 likes, we'll make a part, I guess five, since this is, I think, our fourth one. And uh, yeah, like this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.